Hello guys, welcome to this new video on AI and machine learning. After a long time, I am back with a video and uh, what we are going to see in this video is about uh, ImageBind which is uh, now out by Meta AI. So ImageBind research by Meta AI. So this is the page imagebind.metademolab.com and what this model is all about. So we will see in this video. So image bind. So what the description that they have given here is that it's a computer vision related model and a new way to link AI across different senses that is across different modalities. So from this image itself, you can ensure that, okay, there is something uh, which links the image or video to different modalities like text, audio, IMU, heat map or the depth of the image and video. So let's go through the description introducing image bind the first AI model model capable of binding data across six modalities without the need of explicit supervision by recognizing the relationship between these modalities images video audio text depth thermal and inertial measurement units IMU this breakthrough helps advance AI by enabling machines to better analyze uh, many different forms of information together so let's check the demo first and let's try to see uh, what are its capabilities so here they have also given that okay the features are cross modal retrieval you can retrieve data across different uh, modalities and the embedding space arithmetic is very very sorted so let's see the capabilities okay so here they have the demo and uh, there are a few demo options that is one is from from image can you extract audio from audio can you extract image from text can you extract image and audio from audio and image can you extract image and from audio can you generate an image so these are the multiple things that are supported right now in image by so uh, let's try to get some audio from the selected image so let's try this tiger out okay so some audios are retrieved here let us try to play it so you saw that the tiger audio was extracted just by passing the image of it so let's try it with this sparrow also this is how the first part works now let's check for audio to image that is we pass an audio and we try to get the uh, image out of it so let's pass this birds singing so let's select this one so based on the birds singing these were the images that it was able to retrieve now let's try from passing text to get some uh, image and audio so let's try with the trains so you see down the trains are retrieved similar way if we try to get audio if you pass audio and image and try to retrieve uh, an uh, image so let's see this there is a beach and there is a dog barking sound so let's try to select this to so see an image was retrieved where there was a beach also and a dog sitting and it looks like he might be barking uh, let's check this one a car engine there is a car engine audio so you see there is a car engine audio then uh, there is an image of a beach and you see the image that was retrieved that had a beach also and a car also and the last one is that from audio can you generate some images so there are a few options here let's try with this dog barking see you see it was able to generate a dog that looks like it is going to bark now let's try to check for rain so it gave me an image that it it might be it will be raining someday something like that so this is how image these are the capabilities of image bind, image bind right now and uh, i ch i checked out their github page so here they have given the link to the github and these are the steps that you need to follow to run image bind get the actually get the embeddings of the or audio video or your images uh, from image band so you need to run this following code so i have the code here so this requires actually python 3.8 so you just need to clone the repository then install the dependencies and then you can go down this requires the sound file 
then you go inside the image bind uh, file then check for the present working directory whatever import the dependencies pass the list of the data that you want to pass like, like here i want to pass a dog a car a bird and these are the image path and audio path of the same and then check for if cpu is available or not so this has cpu available because i am running it on t4 and then uh, you have this image bind pre-trained so this model will be loaded and it will be passed to the QR device once that is done you just need to give the input you need to set the input so what you want to do from the inputs whatever so we have three type of input here one is text one is vision and one is audio so from data load and transform text from data load and transform vision data load and transform audio data and we are passing the given uh, audio video and the text then from with torch no grid we pass the inputs here to the model and that all are converted to embeddings so embeddings are basically representation of data in arrays and if you want to see how the embeddings might look like so this is the 1d embedding tensor that will be uh, shown so if i if i just get the a vision text embedding so it will look like this and if you want to get the single vision text embedding so it will look like this so you see now on this embedding you can perform different type of tasks like similarity or whatever whatever you want to do so that will be able to get you that will be able to get you cross modal uh, capabilities like if you want to just pass an image and if you want to get the audio for it so you can try to get the search similarity between the audio and the image and this is how the things will work so from here you can explore it going forward and try to make cool applications of the image bind uh, repository so i hope that whatever i have shown in this video was useful for you and uh, you also liked the capabilities of image bind and how did you use image bind in your uh, task or maybe whatever let me know how you used image bind in the comment section below and what type of features are you expecting from image bind in the future so till then see you next time guys